Hi, Gally. Hey, Gally. Oh, the thing is, cross is old. Kelly. Hi, baby. Look, look, Kelly, look. Look, Kelly. <laughs> she hangs her head out the window. It's so cute. Here we are, heading up the mountain. Just left Temecula and heading up to Idlewild. Don't know if any of you are motocross fans, but this is Anza see some cows out here but this is where a lot of people lots and lots and lots of people come to do motocross you can see that the area is uh, kind of flat and nice for that I guess I don't do it but a lot of people come here for that and here we're coming up to we're on a Indian reservation property and this is a casino we pass every time. Mountain Sky, oh that's a traveler center, but Kahila, Kahila Indian Reservation is back in there. Or it's casino. And we are probably about 30 minutes away from Idlewild. But this is Enza. spots coming up to Idlewild. You start seeing the pine trees, the mountains are closer, the roads are a little bit straighter. You see a lot of horses in Springs Branch right there. A lot of Boy Scout camps and field trips and stuff are down there. I think this is considered Hammond. Upper Hammond. There's Pathfinder Ranch, another place where a lot of overnight uh, camps are done. Never been in there, but my kids have. And we are, I don't know, 20 minutes maybe away from Idlewild. If any of you out there have heard about the wildfires in Idlewild, but you can see the burnt trees all around us. I wasn't up here at the time where there was the fire, but you can definitely see the aftermath of it as we're heading out. stop right here on the way up the mountain. We're probably about 4,000 feet elevation right now, but I haven't been up here since the last huge wildfire where they were um, taking horses, airlifting horses and cows and all kinds of stuff out of here. And um, this is really, I can't believe it. It's really bad. And so far down. Such a shame. Such a shame. All right, cow. We took a break. We are sitting at the village pizza shop. 
and I'm just turn it this way. There is the view. And my bulldog Kelly is out in the car, right in my eyesight, so I can see her. I got the doors locked and the windows open, the game's playing. And we're gonna have some pizza and walk around a little bit more. So, so far the weather is awesome. Um, I'm loving it. I think it's probably like, probably it is 55 degrees or lower. I don't know, everybody's wearing real thick jackets, but I'm just wearing just a light. Um, blouse and a little scarf and I'm perfectly fine so anyway we're gonna eat and then we'll show you a little bit more of the town oh my goodness look we're inside eating pizza the Sun had just come out and I said oh got some sunshine and then all of a sudden this it starts pouring it all the wild that was crazy It look, the sky is like so weird. I think it's just gonna pass over, but I don't know. We're, we'll have to see. Tara's cleaning up. I had to come out here because I left the doors open for a little galley. Yeah, for a galley. So I don't know, we might have to go down the mountain. We've only been up here for like an hour and a half or something. So we'll see. I wish this was smell of vision With the rain, it made the um, pine trees smell so good. But look at that. I mean, it's it was pouring a second ago, and there's a little bit of blue sky there. So I don't know what's going to help it. But they have an outdoor um, thing going on over there. Like, with, they're selling um, handmade jewelry and stuff like that. So those people scattered. But anyway, the reason why I'm showing you this is because um, we are in um, the middle of town. And anyone who's been to Idaho before, you know that this is where Joanne's restaurant was for, oh my gosh, I don't even know, like 60 years or something. And they tore it down. I got the scoop on um, this from a lady over by one of those booths there. She said, that uh, there's a couple of um, heavy investors that want to advertise, um, or I mean, sorry, uh, remodel some uh, buildings and uh, revitalize Idlewild. So they took Joann's down and they put this park in there for people to sit and there's a flagpole in that there. And it's really cool, because like I said, it's right in the center of town. And Joann's was really, last time we went in there, like. I don't know, six months ago, it was horrible. They must have known they were closing, so it was bad. But anyway, um, so being that my daughter has a cast on and she can't get it wet and we don't know if it's gonna rain again, we're gonna have to go back down home to, the, to Temecula. So anyway, bye in a while. We'll see you probably in a couple weeks. So we're on our way back down the mountain, but I wanted to get a little video of the town so you could see all the nice little shops and stuff that you could go to. This is like the main area. And there's a bunch of shops back there. So this is about all we're gonna be able to see right now. But we'll be at, back up here and show you more as we walk around. There's a po place to do pottery over there and, you know, all of the tourist shopping stuff. So, oh, and it's the Renaissance Festival. That's what it is right now. So there's a lot of people dressed up walking around. Although a lot of people went indoors right now because it just was pouring. Yeah, it's drizzling still. It's horrible vlogging here because there's so many people. But that's the Renaissance Festival. See that? And oh, see the psychic readings? Oh my gosh, I wanted to do that today, but now I can't. So I'm gonna do the palm reading when we get home. So we had to pull over. We're heading down the mountain. Of course it stopped raining, so we were ready to leave. But I usually don't stop at these scenic spots because I'm up here a lot. And they know what it looks like, but I thought you guys would enjoy it. 
it looks better in person as everybody always says and it's true but I'm gonna see how far down I can get once we get down um, you'll see cars way off in the distance there it's it's like a straight cliff down and uh, we knew some people that were uh, backing up on this road. I don't know where along this road, but they uh, backed up and went right over the cliff. It was nighttime. You could see the cars way off in the distance there. That was many years ago and it was horrible, obviously. But there's no guardrails. So <laughs> if you're not paying attention, you can easily go off the cliff. You can see there's no guardrails here. Now you don't, you can't really, I mean, you, you would kill yourself, but you wouldn't go down way, way too far. Anyway, just wanted to show you that before we get too far, because I don't think I'm going to be able to video much on the way down. And my daughter's got a broken arm, so she can't do it really either. I wanted to stop and get some ice cream, so we're at the Lake Hemet Cafe. It's a campground and then highway patrols right here. This is um, just a couple thousand feet, or not even, probably a thousand feet um, below Idlewild. And there's Callie Mae. We're just gonna walk for a minute while she eats her ice cream. I thought you'd enjoy this view. We are almost into Temecula, but I've always wanted to stop here. They make these huge um, sculptured lawn ornaments, I guess you'd call them. Well them. Yeah, they well them. And this is a snake, obviously, or like a serpent, I guess you'd say. And they've got them along the road here. I thought this was like a big dog out there. It might be too dark to see. But here's a horse and carriage. Cool, right? And that's a cactus, lots of horses, and even saw a rhino right there. And then you've got, of course, your rooster, which, you know, they're always 10 feet tall. And a donkey, I guess that is. Oh, there's a uh, like Jurassic Park thing over there. Dinosaur? <laughs> uh -uh. There it is. Right there. Oh, here's another one. I have no idea how much they cost, but they have, look, a whole mess of them here. People are walking around and looking at them all. You purchase them and they'll deliver them to your property. And they've come up with some new ones. They're, I used to only see horses here and the occasional giraffe. But now I see a lot of dinosaurs and lots of other things. So it says everything for sale, shipping, delivery, and installation available. I always thought about getting one, but I just never did. Oh, look at this over here. This is huge. Oh my god. I haven't seen these before. It's like going through an amusement park almost. Look at how big this is. That's freaking huge. Somebody welded that and that and all that. It's cool, right? Looks like the owner's staring at me. Okay.